plata, plata. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I've done any sort of apartment tour and since it's our first apartment in years that we're staying for longer than a year, we've been able to really make this place feel like home and have some major changes since posting our apartment tour almost a year ago. With that said, I hope you all enjoy this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. So the first thing I want to talk about is our rug. So we wanted to have a unique oriental rug that had a bit of pop of color, but not too much but enough to complement our neutral color couch and pretty neutral color floors. We got this rug from a local shop in Brooklyn. We agreed that we wanted to support local businesses, so we bought a couple of our rugs in our apartment from a local rug shop. By adding a Persian rug to your apartment, you can elevate the overall ambience, create a focal point, and infuse your living space with beauty and charm. So this shelving system that we installed is from Ikea. It's a Boaxo Ikea shelf. The inspiration for adding this shelf came from Vitso, which is a very expensive and elegant modern shelving system that's very popular designed by Dieter Rams in 1960. A comparable Vitso shelving system as our IKEA one would likely cost well over a thousand dollars which is a bit too much to spend for our apartment right now. The installation was pretty straightforward and relatively easy. We decided to go with the shelf to fill our white space to the left of our TV setup. We also wanted to add more of a personal touch and kind of an opposite approach of minimalism with more of a maximalism approach and style for our IKEA shelf. Also adding the shelf brings your eyes up which makes our space look a lot bigger than it is. Some of the accessories that the shelf includes are this Marshall speaker, a few unique candles, and some coffee table books. We also purchased this gantry light from MoMA Design Store which we love the shape and texture of the light. We just don't like that it's not portable along with some elegant looking cups and a pitcher we purchased from one of our favorite Japanese venture stores. Most of our accessories for our shelf were purchased locally. So this is the LG OLED C1 that we purchased nearly two years ago. We decided to mount it because it gives our setup up more flexibility for what we can do with our media console along with having our Sonos beam sit on top of the console instead of the TV. It also makes our space look so much more modern. 120 hertz refresh rate, a ton of viewing and performance settings, Dolby Vision. Every game and movie looks so amazing on this TV. I wish it was a bit better with reflections because this room can get quite bright but this TV has been by far the best TV we've ever purchased. The colors are extremely vibrant, blacks are deep. Honestly we enjoy watching movies here just as much or if not more than the movies. The sound quality is pretty impressive as well. The reason we haven't upgraded is because we really have no idea what to do with this TV. It's so heavy and slim it's kind of a nightmare to move around. Underneath our TV is the Baez media console that we probably have owned for five to maybe even six years. We really like the style of this media console. The glossy finish makes it look more high-end. We love the combo of the open and closed storage. We also channel the cables through the back of the open storage and it does a great job of hiding the cables Overall, this media console, it gets the job done. It's really clean, minimal, kinda looks like it's floating and just makes our apartment look more modern. Can't recommend it enough. Adding plants to your apartment is important for several reasons. Firstly, plants can enhance the overall aesthetic of your living space, bringing a touch of nature indoors. They add color, texture, and life to the room, making it feel more vibrant and inviting. Secondly, plants have shown to improve indoor air quality by reducing pollutants and increasing oxygen levels. This can contribute to a healthier, more comfortable living environment. The plant to the left of our shelving system is a Japanese palm tree that is massive. We also have a monstera that needs a bit more love and attention, along with an ivy plant that just drapes to the side of our IKEA shelf. Our sound system setup is arguably the most important enhancement we've made to our living room. The combination of the Sonos Beam, Sub Mini, and Sonos Air 100 has made our viewing experience so movie-like I can't imagine having a living room set up without a sound system. I honestly feel like you're doing yourself a disservice. I know that Sonos isn't cheap, but the sound quality is amazing, especially if you're used to speakers from your TV, and I also enjoy syncing the speakers together for a surround sound experience. We also got this level end table from Amazon. I've always wanted one to add plants and lighting to, and it just really fits perfectly in this little nook in between our TV setup and our window. So we got these portable mushroom lamps off Amazon from MagCharm. 10 out of 10 will recommend. Now it feels crazy to pay $200 for a lamp like this when we got these for $100 total for two, and they have the same warm and cooling lighting experience. The only thing I complain about is a battery life. I'll be sure to link these in the description box as well. So this is the OG PS5 from a few years ago. Not much to say. I mean, 
I used to be more of an Xbox person, but now I just love the PS5. Plus all of my gaming friends are on PS5. That kind of makes or breaks your gaming experience in general. And LG OLED and the PS5 combo is definitely a must cop. The backlighting for our TV are these Govi light bars. They're bright enough and I really like the color options that you have. The Govi app is really easy to use. Most of our lighting in our home is by Govi anyways. I think that these are a solid option if you don't want to splurge on the hue lighting. So I've been getting a ton of questions about our couch. And unfortunately, this couch is from Costco, so you can't purchase it online. You have to go in store and actually hope that they have this sectional in stock. So we wanted to make sure that our living room is really comfortable. And this sectional is by far the best purchase we've probably ever made, like the best investment. And it was under $1,000, which is really amazing. As you can see, it takes up a large portion of our space, especially since it's L-shaped and we have this ottoman. Lee and I have gone back and forth about whether or not having an ottoman or a coffee table, of course, I've always wanted like a coffee table because it makes the living room look a little bit more modern and contemporary, but I can't imagine on a daily basis, like not having an ottoman to kick my feet up. Also, it's nice when you're here with friends, and you're watching a movie. So if someone's sitting here and they're, you know, have their legs up, like maybe two people are here, then you can move the ottoman over here. And then it just makes the room a lot more comfortable, especially when you're watching movies. But we wanted to add some personal touches to our apartment, especially since this is our first apartment in a long time that we have signed for like over a year lease, which is basically giving us enough time to kind of personalize it. So this first picture, I got this in East Village with my mom. And then this print right here, this is our favorite picture. This is a picture taken in, I think Montana. I don't know if it's Montana or the Tetons. I can't remember, but our friend Danny, um, took this really beautiful picture with a film camera. We'll link her photo page where you can buy prints. She has some amazing work. And then above that is a local New York photographer who took this picture in China. It's really beautiful. We love how we added the borders around the picture to kind of make the focus point, the horses and the mountains. And then to the right is another picture of New York City. Obviously like you gotta have a picture of Empire State and it's signed by the photographer based in New York City as well. You can see it was taken at 5.06 p.m. November 11th, 2008. And last but not least is this donut shaped Ikea lamp that's been pretty much sold out everywhere. We actually had to pay resale for this lamp on Facebook Marketplace, but it's called the Ikea Varnblix lamp. And if you're lucky, maybe they'll have one at your local shop. But we really love this like orange tone and like pop of color, especially since we mostly have neutrals, neutral color tones in our living room. So that wraps up our 2024 living room setup tour. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content like this, we're always making some sort of small change to our setup. So if you like me to make more content like this on a more consistent basis, you know, comment down below more living room setup content or just some of your favorite furniture pieces or items that we have in our living room setup. With that said, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.